Lemon loft. I have loads. Wow. What's been the biggest impact Influence Marketing has had on the Fresh Ego Kit brand? The biggest impact is basically getting the brand out there. Like, um, if you look at Arsenal Fan TV and the amount of views they got, they say I think they've got something over 50 million views. And if we have DT and troops wearing an Arsenal, like a Fresh Ego Kit hat, and it consistently, that is massive for the brand. Um, if you look at again, I'm just bait and the views what he's got, he's got over two million followers. His interaction must be very high. So these people actually have a, 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 have helped the brand massively. And sometimes you look at would we be in the same position? Probably not, because these people. I remember we were at a trade show in at Bright in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. And someone walked past our um, stand. And the guy walked past and said, "Ah, oh, yeah, that's the um, Arsenal fan TV." And he was he, he was far, so he didn't actually know the brand, but he knew the brand from Arsenal fan TV. So that's how massive these guys are. Have you ever used or considered using an influencer marketing agency? Um, yes, they are important. Sometimes um, you don't want to deal with the influencer. Um, like you've got their egos, you've got like obviously their timings, you can ring them, not picking up the phone. I feel like if they're connected to an agency, the agency can handle all of that. You can actually speak to the agency, I want this, at this time, can it be done, how much, it's done. How did Fresh Ego Kid manage to infiltrate the UK urban culture and be such a success? Um, I think at times it's, it's good to have your ear to the ground. Um, we like to deal with up and coming artists either down in the, the football community, i.e. from Delhi Alley to Sterling. Um, I spoke to them when they were in Tottenham, but MK Don's um, youth team with Delhi Alley and with Sterling, with Liverpool's youth team, and people like Steve-O the Madman, White Yardy, Troops, um, I'm just bait. Talking to these people from a very early age before they've made it where they are today, and you build up a rapport and you can take it on from there. Some people that you, you, you both move on and you don't work with them again. And some people you, you carry on that relationship, but these people are very important to the, the culture on the UK scene. Sure. How have social influencers helped to embed uh, the Fresh Ego Kid brand into the urban community? They've been absolutely massive. Massive for Fresh Ego Kid, massive for other brands in the UK. Um, and I think now, I think if you look at social media now, every brand has to have a, a social media, Instagram page, a Twitter page, a Facebook page. It's so important now for business. So if you look at businesses now, are looking for interaction, looking for followers. How do you do that? How do you get followers? You'd like to work with other people who have more followers than you, so you can nick their followers and get them to look at yours. So, it's, and, and that's what it's all about, in my opinion. What influencer and Fresh Ego Kid collaboration stands out most for you, and why? What influencer? Yeah. Oh, it's a tough one. It's quite difficult because there's a lot of them, and yeah. I don't want to say one name and <laughs> get some sex with someone. Um, there's a few. It's hard to put one and say that person has been great for me and he's done that. There's been a few. Everyone that I've mentioned to, in the interview. Does the Fresh Ego Kid use social brand ambassadors? Yes, we have one. Um, Adrian Mariapa. Um, he's a Premiership footballer. He plays for Watford. He's the captain. Um, I feel like it was very, very important for us to have a brand ambassador. And he's our model as well. So he did our first photo shoot with JD. How has influencer marketing helped the Fresh Ego Kid achieve their brand goals? It's massive, like, um, again, we just done a deal with Xbox today. It's, 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 it's mental to say that we're working with Microsoft. Cool. Like, it's absolutely mental. Do you have a preference for the social platform or platforms you use to achieve this? I feel like it's Facebook, Instagram, then maybe Twitter. Why is Instagram so valuable? Um, I feel like this young, younger generation is all about Instagram. I always say Instagram's a lie. <laughs> yeah, you can make out you're a millionaire on Instagram and you can look like a millionaire, but you're not. And I feel like Instagram, it, it has that, you just don't know. 
You know what I mean? That's why I feel like Instagram um, fashion influ influencers do very well because like some of the stuff that you see and perceive are like, two different things. I feel like Instagram is going to keep playing a vital role until something new comes and I can't see anything new coming for a long time. What would be your advice to brands considering influencers in their marketing strategy? Organic is key. Mm -hmm. Like you can't tell a lie. Sometimes you can, but like these customers, mate, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 they see a lot. So you can't force anything. You know what I mean? A lot of us, what we're doing, the brand and where we're going, like, we want to work with people that are truly genuine. And uh, what next for Fresh Ego Kids? We're going to take over the world. <laughs> you know, we've got, we've, got, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, can't say, talk too much, but we've got a lot of stuff going on. We're, we're, we're hungry. Like, we understand that it's, it's difficult. We've got, you've got major, massive brands and you have to compete with these people. We have a great line of influencer marketers and um, a host of footballers that love the brand and we have two hungry owners that we really want to we want to go into Europe um, to the end of this year and we want to really make a mark and then it, obviously the big dream is America next year so, oh. so oh. yeah we've got a lot of plans okay thanks very much thank you cheers you good yes any other bits that you want to get involved hey?